If ever a film could conjure its own set of demons, it would be The Exorcist. The haunting 1973 thriller about a young girl possessed by the devil literally scared theatergoers out of their seats. But for every frightening on-screen shocker, an even more disturbing drama played out behind the scenes. Coming in at number four, The Curse of the Exorcist. Based on a 1971 novel by William Peter Blatty, the story was inspired by a real-life exorcism that took place in the 1940s. He said the point of his writing The Exorcist was to let people know that evil is real. But if you mess with the devil, you're bound to get burned. After shooting began, the cast and crew were plagued by a series of unfortunate disasters. One of the sets burned down, and the carpenter cut off his thumb, and Alan Besson had a terrible back injury. The film's young star, Linda Blair, was also injured during a violent scene on a moving bed. Basically, they fractured my lower back. Yeah, so the screaming and yelling is real. Then, the curse turned deadly. Actor Jack LeGowan died of a heart attack just after his character was killed off in the film. In total, nine people connected with the movie died during its making. The spirits that are negative, that are demonic, do not want a film like The Exorcist to be released. The movie's director wasn't taking any chances. William Friedkin thought, well, we have priests who are technical advisors and priests who are actors. Let's get one of them to uh, exercise the set. I remember them giving a blessing there and sprinkling everybody with holy water. The movie opened on the day after Christmas, 1973. Audiences were in for more than the typical viewing experience. People would start to get sick. They would faint. They'd have to be taken out of the cinema. The Exorcist spawned two sequels. Exorcist II opened in 1977 without incident. But in 1990, Exorcist III had an even more sinister and deadly impact than the original. Jeffrey Dahmer, the serial killer, was obsessed with the third Exorcist film. He liked to pick up guys in bars and bring them back for a late night watching of Exorcist III. It took more and more deviant type behaviors to satisfy my urges. Dahmer was responsible for the grisly deaths of at least 17 men. When the book closed on the Exorcist franchise, the final count was nine dead, more than a dozen injured, and two fires. Perhaps that's what you get when you mess with the devil. Mm.